So let's dive into the different parts of information modeling one at a time. And I'll give you an example that's drawn loosely from Facebook. This is, you know, much simpler than what Facebook would do, but loosely this is drawn from Facebook. So we said that an information model defines information types. What type or what kind of information do you want to have in your system? Uh, Facebook, for example, certainly wants to have people in the system, right? All the members, that's a kind of information. Information about their members. They want to have information about locations, for example. There's lots of locational information in Facebook, and maybe they want to have information about events. You can see of the three, which one is absolutely the most important, and that's the people. That's what makes Facebook go round, is the people. So we're going to say, very loosely, that Facebook wants to define three kinds of information, three information types people, locations, and events. 